What's up, me here, Taylor with the Boiler Man here. We're in West Hampton, New York. Right now, we're working on a mini split system. It's a single zone mini split, 12,000 BTUs. So the complaint is, it's not cooling. So we know it's not cooling because number one, I feel hot air. The second thing I know is that the refrigeration cycle is not happening. So that could be a couple of different reasons. One, the most common reason is a leak. Another one could be a bad compressor. Um, another issue could be a bad board. We don't know, we're gonna check her out. We've been get, doing a lot of mini splits this past week and board's been going out. Um, leaking um, systems so it could be 20 million different reasons but we have to check out we do know we have power which is obvious so that's the next step is to check that we have uh, any leaks or we have any gas in the system all right mijente guys like I said we just know that the unit is not it's not operating correctly it's blowing hot air but sure enough, I told you guys it could be a leak, it could be a bad, comp uh, it could be a bad compressor. But guess what? You have the gauges on. What does that tell you? That tells you it's flat. There's no gas, zero gas. So that determines to me 100% there's a leak inside the system. This is what it takes to be an HVAC technician. So this right here is telling me everything. So. This is very common in refrigeration, especially on the high pressure systems on R410A. It is what it is. So stay tuned, guys. But again, subscribe to our channel, hit the bell button, like us, DM. We'd love to hear from you. Woo wee! Weppa! All right, guys, so we got to go from the homeowner. She told us, you know, start looking for the leak. So the unit is empty, so there's no reason to take out any leftover gas. There is no gas. So I just know there's a leak. So right now, we're charging up with some nitrogen, as you guys can see. I personally like to do double the pressure, because if there's a leak in there, it's gonna show. So right now, we're about just a little over 300 PSI. So I'm gonna shut it off down. I'm gonna shut it off right now. So now, it's an old-fashioned leak check. You can use soap and water, you can use dough, it doesn't matter. As long as it's more, cause, um, the consistency is a little heavy, so you want some bubbles. So, I'm gonna check it out. So, let's just hope we can find this pretty quickly. Hopefully, it's nothing major. Also, understand sometimes the Schrader valves goes bad, so we're gonna check that after. But we wanna make sure that there's no leaks here. What's up, me here, Taylor with the Bullet Man here. Guys, we just finished checking her out for a leak. So there was a slight leak on one of the fittings over here that had to be tightened up. So that's where the leak was coming from. And also, you always gotta check the straighter valves because they do go bad every once in a while. So I wanna make sure that everything is, is a go. We're good to go. So right now, we're putting the system in what's called a vacuum. You have to put it under 500 microns or less, which is why I have my micron gauge here, made from fuel piece. So right now, a second. You always, always want to make sure. You always want to make sure that all your fittings are tight because if they're loose, you're gonna be sucking air. You do not want to put air into the system. So right now we're at 30 into the mercury. We're in a vacuum. As you guys can see. All right. So once it gets to 500 microns or less, we should be good. All right, guys. We're we're under 500 now, we're at 467. I'll give about another five, 10 minutes. But it didn't take long for us to bring this down to 500 microns or less because it's a very short run. Like I said, figure between 25, 30 feet. So it's a short run. The good thing is everything is exposed outside. So we have access to the piping, we have access to the unit, so on and so forth. So it's not gonna take long. But you do need to put this under 500 microns or less. That's industry standards. If not, you're taking a chance of doing the job twice. You don't want to do the job twice because at that point you're losing money, and you don't. Wanna, you're not in business to lose money or time. 
up right now. He's taking the refrigerant. Right now we're about a pound and four ounces. This unit is calling for about two pounds, point twenty-five, or you know, two point twenty-five. So a little over two pounds. Okay. As we're about to put some ACL into the system, um, this stuff works pretty good. I gotta say, especially when it comes to like small leaks. Sometimes it's very hard to find these really tiny leaks and you know, some people charge the system and then they come back the following season and say, oh Louis, the unit's not working again. I go check, it's low on gas. And typically it's not like really, really low, but it's just low on refrigerant. So I always tell them, listen, yeah, we'll charge up, but put one of these bad boys in, you should be okay. It looks something like this. Pretty cool, right? So it looks something like that, it's pretty simple. So the actual chemical, or what you see is in that little tube right there. And that's it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna disconnect them. We're gonna put this in line between the blue hole, the blue holes and the, and the connection and the, where we're gonna connect this to. And then we're gonna put the blue holes on this side and we're gonna connect this to the access port. So basically the refrigerant is gonna push this right into the system. Pretty simple. It's officially a wrap. We're done. The unit is working. We took care of the leak. And we also charge up. Now they have cooling. It's just in time because tomorrow is expected to be about 90 to 95 degrees here in New York. So today happens to be, I would say about 75 degrees right now. 70, 75 is a little cool. But we're supposed to have like this mini heat wave by tomorrow. So it was just on time. Hey, this happened. So it was good on her, her end because that would suck being without air conditioning on a 95 degree day high humidity. And of course, you give us some water, so a big shout out to the customer, thank you. Guys, this is what it is. Listen, I would advise you guys to make sure your air conditioning is working because it's only gonna get worse, meaning it's gonna get warmer, it's gonna get hotter, and we haven't officially started the summer season yet. The official day is actually this Tuesday. Today happens to be Thursday, so a few more days, then summer will be officially here. But I will tell you this, summer will be here very quick, and you're gonna notice that it's gonna go from 70 to 100 real quick. So get your AC fixed, maintenance, service, but with that being said, let's close out the show. Hit Louis the Boiler Man up, where you can find me on YouTube, you can find me on all the social media platforms, but hit the like button, hit the bell button, and I would love to hear from you soon. Bye-bye.